your East Texas Storm Team forecast. And now we're going to go ahead and toss it over to meteorologist Carson Vickroy. Carson, it is hot and humid outside. Ooh. It is definitely air that I can wear. Yeah, so you know what my idea would be, Corinne? What? Go to the tropics. Yeah, let's, yeah go to the go. Tro let's go take a trip to the tropics. Or better yet, we can track the tropics yeah. because, yeah, unfortunately, we woke up the beast. We do have some disturbances to talk about in the Atlantic Basin here. Three to be exact. One of them is probably not affecting land at all. That is to the east of Bermuda. And then one of them looks like it's tracking in the same direction that this one's tracking just off the coast of Africa. But the main one I'm concerned with right now is this disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms to the north of South America there. And we will need to keep a very close eye on that because while it's disorganized right now, it's going to move move into a more favorable environment in the next couple of days. So over the next five or so days, this does have a pretty good chance of developing. And here we go. You can see it could track over the Yucatan Peninsula and as it does prior to making landfall over the Yucatan, it's got about a 60% chance of developing. But notice these arrows here. Notice where they go into South Texas. Now models are spread out. They're all over the place, but the general consensus is that this will move over the Yucatan Peninsula eventually somewhere into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, could this miss us completely to the south in sections of Mexico? The answer is yes. Could this go off to the north and east and affect us here in East Texas? Certainly, but we will have to keep an eye on this and we are keeping a very close eye on this as we move forward in time. Again, this could take a while for the storm to gather itself and move over the Yucatan Peninsula. Otherwise, as Corinne mentioned, yeah, it's hot and humid. There's no getting around that today. Area of high pressure is anchored over us and anytime you see sinking air, you see the sunshine as well. A couple of clouds here and there, but that's about as good as what we're going to do today. And temperatures, unfortunately, frame by frame, they keep on heating up. We're in the upper 80s, lower 90s. It's not that pleasant outside, and it probably won't be for the remainder of the afternoon when you factor in that heat and humidity, of course. Rain chances, though, they're not zero or anything like that, but look at the limited shower we could see. This is going to be really confined to Nacogdoches, Shelby County pointing off to the southeast. The the rest of us, though, not going to really see much in the way of rainfall today. Now, tomorrow, this does shift a little bit. I do expect a higher coverage of showers and thunderstorms after 6 o'clock in the morning. Watch what happens here. You can see the bubble up showers and storms right along into the south of Highway 79, which runs from Palestine to Jacksonville to Henderson, pointing off to the south and to the east. We will watch this very carefully tomorrow, and this is going to be a copy repeat forecast really for the next several days, and you can even and see by Thursday afternoon, similar situation as well. Now, here we go. This is the heat um, over the next three or so days. While regular air temperature is going to be in the 90s, that's not all that bad, right? Well, when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like the triple digits, unfortunately. And that trend is really going to continue here over the next several days. Given the rain we might have in the area, that increases our humidity. And you see those numbers there in the 90s. Yeah, it will be feeling like the triple digits really for the foreseeable future. So over the next seven days, yes, highs are in the 90s. Yes, that's at or below average, maybe a degree above average some days. But we're still tracking those rain chances in the afternoon, which will make us feel pretty humid in deep east Texas. For the latest, you can always head on to the Thank you, Carson.